Good morning, gang. Happy Saturday morning. All right. I sit before you here as a straight, white, Christian male that believes in capitalism. And therefore, I am persona non grata around the world. I am the second coming of Satan, according to most of the world governments. I am everything that's wrong with this country. I didn't want to add the fact that, that I'm a prepper. That'll make it even worse. I'll get to that in a minute. <clears throat> you look at what's going on in the world right now. There is a war on being white. There is a war on being straight. There is a war on being a male. Good luck for somebody like me to get a job in the government. It's <laughs> pretty much impossible, especially under this administration in the United States. Okay. You know, just yesterday you had the the big announcement of the new communications director. He's gay. Like that makes him qualified, right? Okay. You know, little orphan Annie, the press secretary, <clears throat> it's very, very important that he's gay. Please explain to me how who you sleep with makes a difference on how good you are in telling us the facts that are coming out of the administration that basically dictates a lot of what happens in the United States. Okay? This is, we had, what was it, affirmative action, we've had equal opportunity, we've had quotas, we've had, this is flipping everything on its freaking ear. Okay? This, this is the exact, how do you want to put this? In the 60s, you had the civil rights movement to get equality. And we've gone right past that and go, crap, you're a white male and you don't want to fornicate differently. Let's put it that way. Oh my God, therefore you are bad, bad, bad. But if you decide to go wear a dress, hey, then you're perfectly accepted into our society. Okay. Now, you know how I say all the time about watch what goes on in Europe or wherever. In this case, it's going to be Australia. Uh, and wait till it comes here. I want to tell you what's going on in Australia now. According to Australian law, there's something called the Q Prime database, where the police must keep a record of the following people's activities. Conspiracy theorists. Okay, that's not going to be anything new. Religious, social, or political extremists. Pretty vague. What do you consider a religious, social, or political extremist? Do you consider uh, somebody that is screaming climate change all over the place as a social extremist? I would. Okay. Do you consider somebody like AOC or Bernie Sanders a political extremist? I would. Okay. Not there, though. You can pretty much bet. Okay. As well as people with ideologies that support, get this, communism, socialism, Marxism, the aforementioned AOC and Bernie Sanders qualify, or capitalism. So if now you are a supporter of capitalist, or capitalism, you are, for all intents and purposes, an enemy of the state in Australia. May I remind you, Australia, you are a capitalist society. Your economy is based on capitalism. Of course, that's not what the powers that be want it to be anymore. Just like here in the United States, they want it to be communist. Oh, but that's no good too. So do you see this? If you're a capitalist, if you're a communist, if you're a socialist, if you're a Marxist, that pretty much covers everything, guys. You know, you're either for individual freedoms or collective freedoms. So no matter what, you are an enemy of the state in Australia. Unless, of course, you work for the state. Then, of course, you're all right. Do you see where this is going? The people are enemies. The politicians are fine. Okay? 
Does this, again, sound anything along with put all the pieces together? CBDC, control, yada, da 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 Feudalism, elites and serfs. This is it. They're coming up with something that can quantify everybody as bad, okay? You know, God forbid you're me, a white, straight, Christian male who's a capitalist. Oh, my God, you're, like, first in line for the, for the guillotine. <clears throat> so what's the biggest fear that they have? Now remember, Australia doesn't have guns. Okay? They pretty much took all those away, at least in the United States. And I've said many times, the Second Amendment is the only thing that's preventing the world from falling into complete chaos. Are you a prepper? Oh, you don't want to be if you are in Australia, because now you are an enemy of the state. There was a situation that happened last week in Australia uh, where the police went to a couple's house who they were considered, get this, religious extremists because they were Christian fundamentalists. There's a strain of Christian fundamentalism. I'm a probably butcher this pronunciation, pre-millenarianism, okay, which these people believe in preparing for the end of days. What's wrong with that? Okay. According to your religious beliefs, you are preparing your soul for the second coming of Christ. What's wrong with that? In the eyes of the Aussie government, oh my God, you are a terrorist for all intents and purposes. So the cops went to these people's house, okay, and claimed that they were trying to set up some sort of attack on the government, all right? They didn't do anything. Okay, so this was guilty until proven innocent. There was no crime committed, but because of the thought that they were preparing for the end of days, that's a crime. Now, let me ask you this. If the people who live in East Palestine, uh, Ohio, do you think a lot of them might have been very happy? Do you think right now they would love to have some of the preps that you have in your house? the canned food, or the gas mask, or the hazmat suit, or the bottled water, or something. You think they might like to be prepared? Because the situation in East Palestine is kind of like an end of days situation, okay? It's an SHTF situation. Granted, it ain't going to be the second coming of Christ. But we are being, bad choice of words here, bad pun, crucified for protecting ourselves from the incompetence of government officials. And they, all they want to do is grab all that power, make us serfs and everything. Everything that's going on right now piece by piece by piece by piece, if you put it together, is screaming there is going to be a civil war. And it's not going to be black versus white, and it's not going to be Christian versus Muslim or whatever it is. It's going to be the people versus the politicians across the world. It's going to be the, the people versus the liberal elites, the self-described self people that think they're better than everybody else. And I'll ask you this. Have you ever in your life respected anybody that came up and said, I'm better than you? No, you probably punched them in the nose because that's what they deserved. Good